it appears that all the waiting I've been doing today was actually pointless, as it turns out that the trailer for Shazam that we were supposed to get today on January 22nd actually came out a few days ago as a teaser trailer. Everyone assumed that we were going to be getting the teaser and then a trailer on Tuesday for whatever reason, and I just kind of went with it, but there's nothing there, but oh well, we can still have this video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Movies. My name is Joker, and today, you guessed it, we're talking about the new Shazam movie coming out this April. I can honestly say I'm very excited about this movie just because it's exactly what DC needs right now. It looks like a fun, colorful movie that is something that DC has been struggling with a little bit if you look at their track record from the DCEU that they're trying to create. As a matter of fact, most people are complaining about the fact that the DC films are really grungy and kind of emo-esque in a way, and it's causing them to like lose their value as films. Especially when compared to the Marvel Universe, which, while it has its dark and grim moments, has mainly been known for being bright, happy, and colorful, but it's just two different fan perspectives, and, you know, and it's really hard to compare the two when Marvel has been doing well for 10 years now, while DC's has been doing its own thing for hell and ever, and not even tried to actually create its own cinematic universe. Which is why I really think that if Shazam does well, it'll really keep the ball rolling for DC, and this could be their chance to get back on their feet permanently. Since most of their earlier films, such as Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad have done so poorly, they really need more movies to take up the mantle of, you know, being a great quality film so they can keep the ball rolling. And a lot of the films that DC's been coming out with now have actually been doing very well, but they're still not getting the credit they deserve. Wonder Woman that came out in July of 2017 did very, very well and almost made about a billion dollars. It was right at the course of about 890 million, which was great, but until November when Justice League came out and it was a complete jumbled mess because there were so many reshoots and just just character development that didn't work and the acting there's a there's a whole mess of problems with justice league and it caused it to go back downhill so everyone really needed aquaman to do well if dc was gonna you know hold some kind of a staple or any form of a candle to marvel which i don't think they're trying to do but they're trying to play catch up very quickly i have so many people that were telling me that aquaman was gonna do terrible and that the cgi was garbage and that jason momoa should not be playing aquaman but then that movie comes out and it makes a billion dollars at the box office you can't ignore that number a billion dollars okay okay look infinity war made two billion dollars and that's insane and that's awesome that movie needed to do that but now that dc has put out a movie that has actually crossed the one billion dollar mark that's what they need to keep this going and if shazam can do the same thing which might be a little hard if they do though it's going to be great for dc and that's going to help them you know keep rolling in the future because they really need this momentum to keep going and you know i really think that's exactly what they need right now because you know this is a light-hearted movie about a kid named billy batson he's a foster kid who runs from home to home and eventually he ends up getting superpowers. He gets chosen as a champion by the wizard Shazam. He transfers his powers to Billy, so anytime he says Shazam, he becomes a grown-up version of himself with superpowers, very similar to Superman. From my understanding, Shazam has been, like, compared to Superman. Like, they're basically kind of the same superhero with a, a little bit of differences. You know, Shazam is more of the magical, you know, wizard-style uh, superhero powers, while as Superman is just an alien from another planet. So, like, there are still some things that affect Superman that can't affect uh, Shazam's, like kryptonite for example so this first film i think is going to be the finding and the origins of his powers and how to use them and how to be a superhero in this universe this movie is supposed to take place after justice league i'm not sure how long exactly and we know that these superheroes exist and everyone knows about them because his foster brother freddie freeman you know when we first get introduced to him in the trailer he's got a uh, aquaman t-shirt on you know you see his room he's got a batarang he's got newspaper clippings of superman saving cities so we know that these heroes are there and they're just like what would we do if we had superpowers and then suddenly boom Billy comes home and he's Shazam and he has magic superpowers. Now again, I don't know much about the plot of the movie or what exactly is supposed to happen besides him finding his powers, but it looks like the first person he's going to end up fighting the main villain for this film is Dr. Savannah, which is someone who apparently, to my knowledge, went looking for Shazam's powers and found something else kind of similar to Black Adam, and he's going to be fighting him for the first film, and apparently throughout the movie there's supposed to be some like quote-unquote hints and like sneak peeks at Black Adam being the next villain. I don't know if that would be for a Justice League movie or if they're actually going to plan a Shazam sequel, which if this does well, I definitely think should have a sequel because it just looks like a fun movie overall. But they are trying to give sneak peeks at a, a Black Adam playing a character in the later DC future, which is great considering since like 2008, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been in talks of being Black Adam in his own solo film or at least involved in Shazam in some way. 
So if they want to keep on with that and that wants to be a thing, I mean, I'm fine with it. I think The Rock would do a great job as Black Adam. I just need to, you know, confirm that. I want to know, is Black Adam going to be involved in this movie or is it going to be waiting until future sequels or possibly other DC films? But as far as the appearance of this film goes, this thing has a lot of things going for it, mainly because this is a lighter tone movie, very similar to Aquaman. There's a lot of color. There's a lot of, you know, jokes and a lot of like happy stuff. It's been compared to Big, which was a uh, 1988 film starring Tom Hanks. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch that. It's a really good movie. But it's the same premise. You know, a little kid all of a sudden becomes grown up. He's a 14 year old inside the, the body of, you know, 28, 30 year old man with superpowers. So it's like, what's the first thing you're going to do? You know, you're going to freak out. You don't know what you're supposed to be doing. So seeing this on screen, while it can in some ways take sort of the Deadpool approach, it's not raunchy. It's not vulgar. It's just fun and it's happy and it's very innocent in ways. And I think that's what's going to make the movie so great is because, you know, if you look in the scenes like when they're in the convenience store and they end up getting robbed and he saves them he walks out he's got a bunch of stuff in his hands he sees some girl walk by he's like hey what's up i'm a superhero yeah you should be impressed you know that, that kind of like look that he has and it just adds to it because we haven't really seen something like that before i mean yes deadpool is deadpool but as far as the dc universe is concerned everything is always really dark and grim and grungy and you know it happened wonder woman took away from that and took more of a, a real hero approach and wasn't necessarily much of a vigilante and the same thing with aquaman you know they're very vibrant movies they're very happy movies they're not necessarily dull grim like batman v superman which while i personally like the director's cut of that movie it was a very grim and dull and just like beat to a pulp kind of film which is why i think that completely like changing the formula of how they make these movies to give it a brighter tone to possibly help their numbers i think it's a great bet so if this movie can do well i really think dc is going to start making a real name for themselves and make up for the mistakes they've made in the past but with that said that's the keyword there it has to do well and well, I think it would do well by itself. The part that concerns me is that this movie comes out April 5th and the long-awaited Avengers Endgame comes out on April 26th. So from the day that movie comes out, it has exactly three weeks to try to make as much money as it can and hopefully get a better viewership than it, as it can before the 26th when Avengers Endgame comes out. Because I really think as far as comic book movies go, as soon as Endgame comes out, everything else is getting ignored and that movie is going to explode at the box office but if shazam can keep money flowing in right before endgame comes out and then after that if it can still try to make some kind of money and make a big enough impact to at least hit like the 800 million mark and if it can do well enough even a billion especially overseas that's going to be great for dc and it's just going to be a great look overall and it's going to be a big relief when that happens especially coming down the line when the joker solo film comes out this october and i mean you know for me personally i didn't know much about shazam when this movie came out i do know that he was called captain marvel or originally before they got into the lawsuit with Marvel Comics and they had to change him to Shazam. But other than that, I don't know much about him. But on top of that, that's what made me interested in him because I was like, I don't know the superhero very well. While I am a DC fan, it didn't interest me at first. And then when I saw the trailer and I saw exactly how the superhero works, I was just like, okay, you know what? I really want to see this movie. And the more I look at these trailers and the more I look at this teaser, this is really something that I think DC has just done perfectly. Like this is a complete 180 change from other movies and i think this is really going to make a staple that they need to keep when moving forward with future films and yes i am guilty of looking up shazam apparel after seeing some of the trailers there's some really nice shirts out there and some hats that i think i kind of need to have so it's made me a big fan of it but i haven't even seen the movie yet but i am expecting it to do well i'm really excited for it personally i just hope we can get a good grasp on the box office before avengers endgame comes out and just completely demolishes all of the competition in its path because you know that's going to happen but i don't think there's going to be a new trailer coming out today like I want to but if one comes out at some point this week or next week I'm definitely going to be doing a reaction to it so keep an eye out for that if I see the trailer I'll let you know but that's going to be all for this video guys remember if you like what you saw be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more of let's talk movies or if you'd like to see anything else also leave a comment down below and let me know is there a movie coming out that you want me to talk about maybe Captain Marvel maybe Avengers Endgame I don't know let me know and I'll definitely take a look into it but until then and as always I will see you guys next time.